In this section, we will begin the study of a second-order RC low-pass filter. It will be used in this project of this course. This is another simple and practical analog filter. Here, the schematic for the second-order RC filter, consisting of two resistors and two capacitors. Sometimes people call it the cascaded RC filter because two RC filters are cascaded together as two stages. Generally speaking, compared with the first order RC filter, the second order low pass filter has two real poles that gives more attenuation at V out, and as well as more face lagging compared with the first order low pass filter. Here we use similar LT spy setup as before. Parameters are R1 equals to R2 equals to 1K, C1 equals to C2 equals to 0 0.1 microfarad. Here is the transient simulation in time domain. The frequency is 1 kHz. For comparison purposes, for comparison purposes, I put the second order result in the same plot as the first order result. Input voltage is in green. The V out of second order filter is in red. The last one is V out in the first order low pass filter. As I mentioned already, you can notice that the second order low pass filter has more attenuation at V out, so the magnitude is smaller than the first order filter, as well as more face lagging with input voltage. If you want to know how to choose R and C in the design of the second order low pass filter, the transfer function can help you and give you more insights into the circuits. In this circuit, the transfer function G of S is V out over V in. In this course, I will not go through the details about the algebra. The results of GFS is shown here. Also, you can put the result in a canonical form, defined as G of S equals to 1 over 1 plus S over omega P1 times 1 plus S over omega P2. This is a canonical form of a transfer function with two poles. The first pole is omega p1, second pole is omega p2. Please check the reference for more detailed information. Now we can put the whole system in AC analysis and uh, draw the body plot. For comparison purposes, we put the first order low pass filter in the same page so that we can compare these two body plots. The out is the second order RC filter output. Out analyze first analyze order is the output of the first order low pass filter. They have the same input voltage, which is the AC disturbance at one volt as the magnitude. The sweeping frequency ranges from 10 Hz to 1 MHz. The parameter frequency at 1 kHz is neglected in LT space. This is the body plot of V out and the V out at the first order low-pass filter in AC analysis. The AC analysis gives more insights into the circuits. We can see that the second-order filter has more attenuation than the first order. If the frequency is above the breakout frequency, the magnitude slope of the second-order filter is minus 40 dB per decade. So you have more and more attenuation as frequency increases. We know that a single pole gives the magnitude slope of minus 20 dB per decade. Therefore, minus 40 dB per decade is a good indication of two poles in the system. Also, the phase of the second order low pass filter is approaching minus 180 degree instead of minus 90 degree as shown in the first order system. In this slide, I want to show you how to use voltage-dependent voltage source. Here we use E1, E source, with a Laplace transform to verify the derived transfer function. In the highlighted equations, we see the canonical form of the transfer function for the second-order RC filter. In the AC analysis, we want to compare the body plots drawn by two different approaches. On the bottom side of the schematic, we have a voltage-controlled voltage source E1 using Laplace transform 
The Laplace transform is using the canonical form to simulate the second order low pass filter behavior. The output at E1 is called out underline Laplace. This is the voltage using mathematic equations. Hopefully, the output of the circuit is similar to the output of Laplace transform. Here, the result it shows a very good match between the second order low pass filter circuit and Laplace transform of the second order filter. That means the algebra of the second order filter is correct. Please run the simulation files in LT Spice by yourself so that you can better understand this project. Here is the reference for this lecture. Thank you very much. See you next time.